everyone. I recently got this um, Grum Bacher Bachard Mixed Media <laughs> 60 page sketchbook. Funny story, I went to Walmart and I wanted to find the Canson Mixed Media sketchbook. And they literally had like every single other one of the Canson. And then they had this Grum Bacher Mixed Media sketchbook. And you know what? I was like, I'll get it and I'll try something new. Okay, before anyone gets mad, I googled it and I recognize that it is called Grum Bacher. I will be saying Grum Bacher now. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, the sketchbook has a pretty cool feature where you can like rip out pages of the sketchbook and then like kind of put them back in. Just me demonstrating it. But it's kind of tedious because once you put it back in you have to like kind of like force literally like every single little section of the like tear line back into the spiral it's very annoying i will just not be using that feature anyway the sketchbook i had prior to this one had like a customizable cover like you could customize it because it was like pretty much blank so i wanted to do something like that again because i really liked having a customized cover so i decided to get some cardstock but yeah i chose this teal color which is obviously really pretty and i wasn't sure what to actually like paint on it or like draw on it because i've had art block for the past two weeks but i was like i haven't actually used my gouache set in like a really long time so i was like hey i'll use my gouache and i'll paint something on this cardstock pick cover of my sketchbook so yeah that's what i did i'm like 90 percent sure it's not even okay i'm done i think it's a little too big but Hey guys, if you can hear that like white noise in the background, it's my air purifier. But anyways, I decided to paint a landscape for this for some reason. I don't know, I'm full of surprises today. But I went in with the mountains first. I was always under the impression that mountains were like the hardest thing for me to paint, but they ended up being pretty easy. I don't know, I think it's the skill from not painting landscapes and like i think it's been over a year i have not painted landscape in so long and i don't know why i went into this without a reference or anything i just started painting so i clearly do not plan very well when it comes to artwork but we don't need to talk about that I'll be honest, I kind of peaked during this mountain part. What can I say? I'm pretty funny. You can stop clapping now. Anyways, here's me painting in the mountain range. I obviously made like the distant mountains lighter and I had a lot of fun like playing around with the light and stuff because obviously like, like you can use the light to like build the dimensions of the mountain. But I was also kind of confused because I also kind of wanted to have like snow and you had to like kind of make it so like the snow would also have like a lighter color even though I used pretty much just the color white for the snow. I know you're not really supposed to use like- I mean, I've always been taught that you shouldn't use like color straight out of- um paints you should like at least mix a little bit to like create dimension or whatever i don't know get more familiar with mixing paints but i don't know i just really wanted to use white i guess i'm gonna fast forward to the clouds because i don't have anything else to say about the mountains okay now i actually have to talk about the clouds and i don't want to talk about the clouds because i do not know how to paint i clouds. literally went into it and i had to like i started stippling with my brush but i didn't have like a round brush like on me at the time of recording so i don't even know that looks terrible but i persevered and i will say they looked they still look terrible but at least i try <laughs> hey the stickers on my laptop get a feature kind of ish i've been like filling the, the back with stickers that's very unrelated but i felt like you had to know Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to add 
like a river like going through the mountain to like the foreground um i don't know how to paint water i i really don't and i don't know how to paint like that perspective either like i attempted to i kind of got it and then it went away once i started painting because i don't have a thin enough brush and i tried again and again and i don't even know what to say and then i was kind of like screw it i'll just paint something else and then come back to it now i busted out the fan brush so you know i was gonna get serious and add some pine trees i added two i added two in total and for one of them i don't even think i used i don't even think i used the fan brush hey you can see all the paint on my hand <laughs> i have no clue if gouache is like acrylic where like you can't wash it off clothes but i certainly do not want to find out i feel like it is because it's like not watercolor so oh my gosh okay i kid you not i have no footage in between this and the last scene that is like a dramatic cut um anyways as you can see i was kind of done this like painting looks it looks kind of bad right now i don't even know I, I just figured that i would cover it up with like paint marker or something because I, I was not feeling it if you're wondering what those like random white spots are i was like trying to add rocks and then i decided against it so i was like trying to awkwardly like <laughs> cover them <laughs> back with the grass i think painting the river was like the hardest part of this for me because i i just i just cannot paint water or maybe it's just i didn't have a reference so i didn't really know how it, it would how it would look there wasn't like a reflection or anything but i was like debating if there should be a reflection but there wasn't like a tree standing above it or anything i tried to like do the hill the hill's reflection i don't even know i should have used a reference i kind of regret this okay the jump cuts are actually insane when did i add another tree okay uh, whatever anyways <laughs> that is uh, that is the cover done i added like paint marker and stuff sorry the clips are too short for me to start talking on them but anyways i'm filling out the goals of my sketchbook right here it's like the it's like the left side whenever you open the sketchbook but anyways there was some like stuff about grumbacher's paper um it still doesn't feel like i'm saying that right and i wanted to decorate so i got out my good atama stickers i chose this one where he's like kind of sitting in that little bowl he's so cute and then this one which kind of looks like me like when i'm in art block so i think it's very fitting and then i showed off the goals i have for the sketchbook which are to practice body types draw different ages draw landscapes draw more animals and then still lifes but um this is my take one of the first page i'm not sure if i like this first page or the other first page which you'll see later i think this feature is kind of growing on me though because if i make a really good first page for my sketchbook like halfway in i could probably just like replace the first page so i don't know it's less pressure that way you know but yeah i don't really want to include the whole process but i really hate the hands i might just cover them up and use it as a first page because i kind of like how i did the face it's okay this was take two it was actually a full body and i actually don't know if i like this one or the other more one more to have as a first page i'm not like i don't love them so probably later on if i make a really good piece i'll replace it i don't like his face but i do like like his hoodie <laughs> and like kind of the dimension around it if that makes sense but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and starting my sketchbook with me love you